You always on my mind when you come around. I get shy. I see you. Why well, see you? Every time when I na na na, every time when I get a minute, I see you. I see you. Well, 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 guys. I'm back one more time. You know my motto. I don't make believe. I make believers. I'm your gracious host, Drummer, 1980 Helen from Columbia, South Carolina. I hope you're having a good day today. And if that's not the case, ask yourself why. Because remember, happiness is an inside job. And it will always be an internal affair. Well, guys, we back today again. I'm feeling good, guys. I hope y'all guys out there doing well. Shout out to the black family. Shout out to the community in general. Today, we have a good showing by my man, Tariq Nasheed. He's talking to a Somali woman that has some very interesting views. Y'all know how this about to go, right? I'm going to call your attention to the screen. Let's hear the conversation, guys. Let's go. Now, hold on. Who is this Aisha person giving the thumbs down? Hold on, Aisha. You're giving the thumbs down. Now, you're trying to get my attention. Let me get you in before I finish my thought. Aisha, you want to hop in and chime in? Yes, I do. Because sir, I want to know why are you saying as you're acting as if this man is not a criminal. And I want to know why. Where are you from, babe? Where's your accent from? Oh, what does that matter? We're talking about that. That, ma that matters. Sure. Where's your Where's right, your right. accent from? All right, I'm Somali. There you go. Okay, now I'm an I anchor am a, baby, sir. right, right. You're an anchor baby with a big forehead. Yeah, we, we're asking oh, questions. But you're an OG anchor baby, right? No, no, I'm not an anchor baby at all. I'm a foundational Black American. I'm not yeah, a fleer. Yeah, an OG anchor. I'm not a fleer like you, ma'am. And a lot of you tethers, you just want to see black folks get taken out, period. The foundational black Americans so that you can be the replacement. You want to be the Somali puffy. You want to be the big forehead diddy. So that's your thing. Are you going to speak or are you going to just speak? I'll, I'll put my hand Okay, up. okay. Because you're not saying anything, ma'am. You're trying to be no, But sir, I want to respond to you. Are you going to drop me? Right, right. But yeah, and you, 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 you the, that Somali tether you, you've called up before. Now, what do you have to say, ma'am? Anything constructive or you just want to bash that big forehead on the phone and just babble? No, What's sir, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, sir. Okay. I want to have dialogue with you. Then start dialoguing, ma'am. All right, all right. So why is it acceptable for Diddy to be doing these things? What did Diddy do? Diddy was out here abusing women, and I mean recording them and forcing them to have sex. How with come abuse? How come abuse wasn't physical abuse wasn't in the charges? It was all prostitution and coercion. Because That's there the is, he has parties and he does these things, sir. What does he do at these parties? He does what Jeffrey Epstein does. No, Jeffrey Epstein had underage people. Yes, 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 yes. Sir. Okay, but I'm just saying that. I'm, okay, okay. Well, we're having a dialogue. What did did he do at these parties that constitutes a RICO charge? Yeah, he beat these women and he made them take okay. drugs and have sex with these people, right? Okay. So, family, y'all heard the conversation so far, right? If you notice something, nobody can really give a clear cut answer on what Diddy is being charged with outside of being a freak, just being a sexual deviant, basically. Huh? I can't hear anything. A RICO charge? So hold on. Let's cover this together. He goes to New York. He flies some people in, some uh, porn star women or men or whoever. And that constitutes as a trafficking charge superstars come there politicians come there to have sex with different people whatever so that constitute as trafficking hold on y'all wrap your head around it and you notice they keep playing the video from Cassie and make no mistake about it I don't care nothing about Diddy Diddy played the game and he thought he was one of them you can't do what they do Diddy we understand it's wrong, but you can't do what they do. And I believe it was my man, Eddie Griffin, that said it best. You never die clean, not black and rich and just pass on your money from generation to generation. If so, who? Name 10. 
I bet you won't be able to do it. Did he play the game? Now nah, he's getting burnt. Now nah, I don't agree with this color of law thing because you have so many traffickers and, and people that violate women and children in Hollywood, politicians everywhere galore. But you go jump over all of them and come and get Diddy. No, 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 no. If you're going to get Diddy, you need to get the rest of them too. They always want to attack the black man all the time. All the time. All the time. This never fails, guys. This never fails. Jay-Z better watch out too, which I don't care nothing for him either. Neither him nor Beyonce. I'm really not into this star worship thing because people look up to celebrities and they all googly eyes and they heart about to fail them and they can't stand it. Oh my God. They passing out all this stuff. They don't move me like that. But the reason why I want to bring this to your attention is because whenever you leave something like this open-ended, they charging them with RICO charges, the man act, all that. That's a racist law within itself. Okay? That's a racist law within itself. The man act, that's a racist law. RICO charges was created for the mafia, but it quickly jumped the black people all of a sudden. These basketball players and these football players that fly girls in, wherever that they go play at, that could be considered to be trafficking. If somebody is charged with trafficking, they're going to have to be like Jeffrey Epstein if they're white. Obvious. Underage kids. P. Diddy didn't do that. Produce the evidence. Produce the evidence. Produce the evidence. We need to see evidence. And I'm still not going to jump on board because I understand how these people operate. He did something that they didn't like, like sue that giant liquor conglomerate. And now they coming back to get him because them tapes with Cassidy has nothing to do with what he's being charged with. But they keep showing that tape over and over and over and over. They trying to take him down, guys, and they probably will succeed at that. But my thing is, I don't believe in no cover of law. And I've been saying this since day one. I don't believe in no color of law, guys. I'm not getting down with that. If you're going to get him, you need to go ahead and get the people on the casting couch too, there because that's trafficking, too. Right. Huh? That's trafficking. And Hollywood and Hugh Hefner and all these people was notorious for that. And still are. Everybody know what time it is. Disney? Disney? Look at everybody that grew up in Disney. Britney Spears. Hmm? Huh? Nick Cannon. Huh? Raven Simone. I can't hear nobody. Christina Alagalier. Huh? Orlando Brown, anybody? Orlando Brown? Look at them kids that grew up. And some of them will tell you things were happening to them. You never hear about no RICO charges or no trafficking charges. You don't never hear about that. At least get the ones that's obvious doing it. But they don't want to do that. They let everybody else go free while they over here talking about Diddy. Nah. Nope. How come the beatings, the physical abuse, that wasn't, that's not in the charge. So you can't mix up stuff. I'm talking about what... I'm talking about what he was charged with. See, this is what we're not going to do. You're not going to bring up some stuff that's not in the indictments. I'm talking about what's in the indictments. And the media put out a whole bunch of stuff, but the the indictment were, it was like coercion, prostitution, and drugs. and. But it is coercion. If okay. he's How so? How so? How do you coerce well, a grown woman? these women to do how? these indecent acts with these how? people that they how? don't want how? to do. How? How do you coerce? How do you coerce a, 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 an adult? Uh, sir, may I respond? Are you going to yeah. get it? How do you coerce an adult? They were coerced because uh, do you understand there's such thing as mental, you know, anguish. How do you do mental anguish on an adult? When you, sir, just because they're an adult doesn't mean they have the capability to act as an adult. So they're slow? They're looked as, as an adult by the government's eyes, but does not mean that what they go through does not make them act in a way that is very childlike. Okay? That's a very simple thing. That's ridiculous, ma'am. No, but sir... Sir, so you don't believe in these things, right? Okay. Well, I, I know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna punish y'all with that type of 
Oh, nonsense. Okay. Now she's saying that they're all stupid, basically. No. No, no. See, people, you, this is why when you start asking questions, people can't really give nothing logical. How do you coerce an adult? Your, your adult can say yes or no. Hey, no, I'm not going to take that drug. What are you talking about? Coerced. If somebody, people, man, look, I've been in Hollywood. People offer me drugs all the time. Guess what I did? Said no. People also offer me drugs and drinks all the time. I say no. Duh. What are you talking about? What is this? Stop acting dumb. Let's stop this dumb talk. You can, you can say no. If people want you to go to little weird parties and stuff. You can say no. I don't want to go there. I'm good. Hey, man, we're hanging out at the after hour spot. No, I'm good. What's all this coercion stuff? Especially with dudes. Dude, how the hell you get coerced by another dude? There you have it, guys. Coercing people into doing stuff. In that case, everybody in Hollywood that have them Hollywood parties up in the hills, it's the same type of parties, freak parties. We done heard so many celebrities talk about it. Am I lying? Somebody put it in the comment section because I would like to know your thoughts. Have anybody ever heard of celebrities and entertainers and basketball players, football players, uh, music singers? Everybody have talked about these parties that they always throw in the Hollywood Hills where they be men on men. They be drugs everywhere, prostitutes everywhere, porn stars everywhere. We haven't heard about that. Where do you think P. Diddy got it from? If that constitutes as trafficking, where well, everybody need to be charged. See, and let me just go ahead and be quite frank with most of y'all. What it is, is whenever you have a black man with that type of money, all sorts of people are jealous, include people that look like him. God, oh, I didn't know. Did you hear me? They want to see him go down. Oh, he did it. How you know he did it? Where's the proof? And then on top of that, why don't they go get the other ones? That's obvious. Talking about Rico charges. Anybody, somebody, please put it in the comment section. How many Caucasian gentlemen do you know? And I'm going to back this up with uh, some facts. Oh, my God. I'm about to blow you out the water. Huh? Did you hear me? I'm about to give it to you. You about to get this work. How many Caucasian men do you know? Have been hit with Rico charges. And let me bring a significant case to your attention before you talk out the side of your neck. I'm going to cut you off so quickly. January 6th, the insurrection. The FBI and everybody knew because they was in these chat rooms on these board chains and these websites talking, planning. They had phone calls. That was a conspiracy, right? Nobody charged them with no RICO charges. Many of them should be hit with RICOs, right? But no, they save them for Young Thug, which is another person that I don't care for because he putting on dresses. But if you're going to do that to them, go ahead and do it to everybody. And I won't say anything. These people went and tried to overthrow the government. Literally. Not figuratively, literally. And they knew about it. They knew about the coup d'etat. Huh? The coup. And they didn't hit them with Rico charges. But P. Diddy, oh, oh, he got to get hit with Rico charge traffic and all this stuff. If somebody willingly come to a party and have sex with multiple people, take drugs willingly, then we do it again across country. Who made you go? Did PD to put you in the cage and uh, fly you under the airplane as cargo or something? I just don't understand. But I do understand. It's called I'm white and I say so. Black man, listen at me. Whenever you get a few dollars, you better keep your head on. Okay? Because any way these people can get you, if they have to lie, have to trump up charges on you. And then they go trump up charges, send you to their kangaroo course. And if P. Diddy do get out of it, guess what's going to happen? His reputation is going to be smeared. Nobody don't want to do business with him. And he's going to have to spend most of his money, his wealth, to get out of it. You see how that works? If he do get out, I don't know whether he going to get out of it or not. But 
He's on suicide watch, according to sources. We know what that sound like. The Jeffrey Epstein treatment, guys. That's what it sound like to me. They laying the foundation for it. Oh, he took his own life. Hmm. Guys, I'm not with the color of law. I'm just not going to do that. I don't care how you feel about it. And this Somalian woman here, she need to keep her nose in her business. Oh, he did it. How you know he did it? Oh, because they said so. Oh, so they don't lie, huh? I didn't know that. Now, there is some smart person out there that's probably thinking, well, we should just stop the ones in our community. You don't stop nothing. You didn't say anything before the system got a hold of them. And now that the system got a hold on them, you just want to jump on board with it. No, if the system go get a hold of him, the system need to get a hold of the other ones. And I stand on that. I'm not going to sit here and they just constantly just pick off black men and then the other ones run them free. Huh? Nah. Not over here. You on the wrong channel. You might as well go somewhere else with that. Because we don't do that. Ever. And Somalis, please, make sure that you take care of home first. Don't worry about what's going on over here. Okay? Because you have bigger fish to fry. If you got in a fish at all, broke behind. Come on over here. Well, he did it. He did it. How you know that man did anything? See, you going off of mere speculation. This is the danger with people just jumping on board to try to lynch this man, basically. Sean Combs is a scumbag. He is a sexual degenerate. I do agree with that. But he's not doing no more than what them white boys do. No more. Because where do you think he learned it from? Where do you think he learned the game from? See, but now he found out he can't do what the white boys do. That alone, in of itself, is racist. Because you can't do what they do. Why? Oh, because you got some melanin in your skin, huh? <laughs> You think because you have some money, you think you're free, huh? All right, guys. But guys, tell me what you think, guys. And until next time, peace. And remember, there is more.